How's it going guys and welcome back to the Card Fathers. Today we are showing off the card room that I built back in July 2020. It's just an updated video of it. So it's a year and a half old. We built this, uh, I'm talking drywall, tiling, painting. We assembled these cabinets here. The video has over 12,000 views. We could link that down below in the description. So feel free to go check that out after watching this video. Uh, so I filmed this in a certain way to try to get you like a mental image of the room. So we'll start from this frame every time and we'll check out the first couple cabinets. So these are our display cabinets. It's a mix. This one's generally Cano and first Bowman PSA or rookie cards that I like. And we got a couple of CSG cards here down below. This next one's a mix of old and new. Um, feel free to pause if you wanted a better look at it. Just cards of people that we liked throughout the years and wanted to get one of their cards. And last is a mix of just new, newer cards, not really graded, and some, a lot of redemptions. Those are those stickers you see up at the top. Um, below these cabinets, we actually have a lot of unopened. So 95% of the, what you're looking at is just unopened boxes. You can see the 89 Bowman for Griffey there. And there's some cool ones in here. I could highlight a couple for you. So right, the first of this one here is a 1980 uh, Hockey. So that's Wayne Gretzky's second year card, BBC wrapped. This is Mike Trout's rookie. This is an open box, but if it wasn't open, it'd be around $10,000. And right here is a 1982 Topps BBCE sealed box. Uh, moving on to our next cabinet here. It's mainly unopened packs. By mainly, I mean uh, probably 100% actually. So... These are a lot of graded packs up top, but then there's a lot of ungraded or wax trays, grocery packs there. Uh, on the left, you could see some 1955 packs, 56. Uh, we send a lot out to be graded there. And over here is a mix of old and new. So just cards that we like a lot and like to see day to day. Um, just some cool stuff overall. Here's the cards. There's a Tiffany Bonds, a uh, Torkelson first overall out of 499 auto. Luka Doncic, Carlson out of 25, and a Mike Trout and Ronald Acuna auto out of five. On the wall, you can see our art that we like. And then this is our ultra modern cabinet. So a lot of first Bowman's in here. Uh, a lot of Tyler Soderstrom. I collect him. It's a better look at the top. You can see Bobby Witt, first Bowman auto. Um, Soderstrom out of 20, Acuna. There's the Durant rookie. These are just things on the top. Some custom card cases that we had made for us. Uh, some more Soderstrom. Uh, right here is a Super Fractor I pulled of Cano. And this is a one-of-one -one Griffey autograph. Super nice card. The next cabinet on the right is going to consist of uh, vintage. So it's from 1909 all the way from 1970s. You have Mickey Mantle second year in here. Mickey Mantle, just an overall nice looking cards. That Honus Wagner is fake, by the way. But the other ones are real from 1909. That card is 1910 Swamp Find. Search that up. That's a great read if you haven't heard of that. Some Mickey cards here. And uh, Koufax is our favorite. So we collect a lot of Koufax. You can see that picture that we had on our wall previously. But definitely a big Koufax. You can see the 55 tops up in the top right there. And uh, our last cabinet is a mix of all different things. More binder complete sets, unopened packs, Project 2020. And then just other like NASCAR cards and stuff. But here's a better look at our actual binder sets. And uh, we have everything from, I don't know, 55, a couple 38. And these are complete sets. Uh, we're missing a couple years here and there. But we got most of them, in our favorite years at least. And it goes all the way up. And then I threw in some like really super modern sets that I collected in the past year or two. But yeah. So let's take a couple of look at like some cards that are in these, all the way back from what, 33, 38, uh, up to 53. So some cool looking ones. And uh, people just like to see these nowadays. You don't get to see these too often. Like if you walk into card shows, then you might be able to find and plug one or two in your set. So this is how these cards were acquired. Multiple card shows and then writing down the number of the ones you need. Keep in mind, these are not this one is not a complete set, but it's a good amount of the cards. This is 55 Bowman. You could tell from the TV screen look. And this is actually, I didn't know, but I grabbed the doubles book by accident. So this is all doubles. Um, 
forgot to put the complete set on. I should have went back and did it, but we completed that set and then throughout going to the card shows and buying out lots, we happened to get a doubles book. So you could see there's five or six of some guys and uh, maybe one day we'll be able to complete another set. But cool looking, well known, Top Transcendent did a play on this. And this is my favorite set ever, mainly because of the Sandy Koufax rookie, which is my favorite card. But you can see this is the 55 top set. Some of the numbers were not issued. That's why they have a little sticker in there. But we go through just a beautiful looking set. One of the most uh, popular cards There's the Koufax rookie right there. Um, but a lot of great cards in this 55 set and just a really cool image that I always look forward to seeing. Um, a couple other big names in here. You'll see one as I go by. We have uh, Jackie Robinson right here. This is a voiceover, so I might time it out a little differently. But yeah, so very cool. Bright looking cards, 55 tops. Those are some of the top names you could have in there. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of just what's updated with the card room. We keep Funkas around. I want to thank you guys for watching. This is Anthony with the Card Fathers, and uh, let me know if you want to see anything else. I can make a video on that. Thanks for watching.